Hello, YouTube family. Welcome into today's video, which is going to be five more of my makeup aha moments. These are things that I have found through the years that have really kind of upped my makeup game. They're things that I feel like uh, when I found them, I was like, why didn't I know this before? And they're things that I would love to pass on to you guys. So before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking that red button below and hit the little bell icon. And if you're already subscribed, please give me a thumbs up. Actually, everybody, if you wouldn't mind, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help me so much. So I want to tell you guys that this is the first video that I have ever actually shot away to another live clip of myself doing the actual trying on and whatnot of the makeup. I usually just go through it with you guys, but I thought that it might speed things along a little more if I kind of just show you guys what I'm doing as I'm talking over it. So we're going to go through and do that. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is getting a really good highlighter pencil that has no shimmer or any uh, glitter in it at all. This one is from Wet n Wild and it's only about four or five dollars and it is just as good as the Benefit high brows. Matter of fact, I just put this in my dupes video. And so what I do is I put this in my brow bone and then in my inner corner to lighten up that area. And what that does is it gives a lot of lift to your eyebrow and it also helps with any of that really darkness or that sallowness that we can get right there in the inner corner and gives a brightness to our face. So that was one that I, when I started doing it, it was like, it made such a big difference to my eyeshadow and I love doing it now. Okay, the second one that I wanna talk about is one that is a little bit more involved. This is a coal eyeshadow pencil. Pencil, and this one is a gel eyeshadow pencil. Now, what the crap is the difference, right? Well, Kohl or uh, Kajal, those are actually made from clay products. So when you use a clay product or a coal liner and you put it into your waterline, what's gonna happen is it's actually going to kind of soak up the water a little bit. And so it's going to help adhese it just a little bit better to your waterline. So you're gonna get a longer wear about it, but you're gonna go, well, shoot i have all of these liners that are gel liners like i have tons of these i have some from wet n wild i have tons of the mark jacob ones i talked to you guys about my milani ones those are all gel liners so what can you do to use up those well if you want to just go and buy a nude one and go ahead and put that in your waterline first and then you can go ahead and put your color on top of it whatever your color is you decide like today I went ahead and I did the nude in my waterline and then I put the green from Wonder 2 Cosmetics on top of it and it really helps not only kind of pop that color out but it's gonna almost double your wear time so what does that translate into wear time well for me what it translates into is I can usually get about two hours out of any liner that I put in my waterline. But when I do it this way, I can get three to four hours. So for me, that's like a lot. And some days I will even notice that it will kind of be there a little bit by the time I go, go to bed at night and I'm washing it off. So bonus for me there. I love that. The next trick I want to tell you about is one that I have known about for a long time, but it is one of my very favorites. And I can't figure out why I haven't talked to you guys about this before. When I have a really special event to go to where I want my foundation to be flawless but I have some pretty darn dark spots back here from like uh, whether it's from acne or whether they are age spots and that's coming out now I don't know but that doesn't seem to have anything that will cover them and if you want to wear a lighter coverage foundation then you have these these spots showing through so what I do is I take a liner pencil this one happens to be the Morphe M443 and then I take my concealer this one is the conceal and define from makeup revolution I will dip that into the liner and then I will just just anywhere I need to completely cover up, I will very lightly dab some just on that area so I'm not making a cakey mess of my foundation. Everything can be covered and it can be covered lightly, but on those certain areas, you can just get that pinpoint application of covering up the blemish or covering up, you know, an age spot or anything like that. The next one, I cannot believe again that I haven't shared with you guys before because I do this so often. I think I have done it in tutorials, but I don't know that I've really brought attention to it before. 
for. So make sure that you get yourself a good pencil brush. It doesn't have to be an expensive pencil brush because this one is from ColourPop and it is only $6. But a really nice stiff pencil brush will help you to put on your liner underneath your eyes on top of the liner that you chose to put on. So again, if you have one that says it's waterproof, it probably is, but I have a tendency to tear right out here in the waterline. I yawn a lot during the day because of whatever, I don't get enough oxygen or whatever it is. So I have a tendency to tear up right here and my makeup will smudge just a little bit right in that corner. But after I put on my liner, I go in with a pencil and an eyeshadow color, the exact color of my liner and then I just go in and I just really smudge that now what that does is it sets your liner with the powders so you're getting the waterproof liner but you're also getting the powder to make sure that the liner doesn't mix with any of the oils or any of your tears so you're gonna get a lot more long-lasting and the bonus of that too is that the look is a smudged look underneath right now not a stark look anymore so you're definitely getting that soft focus look and you're getting Getting the wearability too. The last tip again is about the eyes and this one I'm kind of proud of because I've never seen it before. It probably has been done a, a million times and I just haven't seen it um, but it is one that I felt like I came up with. Maybe not. This right here is a pretty big liner brush. It is very wide and it is very thin. Thick. It has a nice angle to it and it is pretty stiff, but it's still not good enough to do super precise lining if that's what you're needing to do on your eyes. And when I was looking at it, I was going, you know what, since I do have that tearing out there and I do have that problem, I bet this would be really good if I took and I dipped it in some powder and then I went right below where my eyeliner is out there on the corner. And what it has done is it has just given everything that I've talked to you about today just a little bit extra nudge in the department of, oh, I'm going to stay on there all day long. And that's what it does. It stays on until I take it off. My liner doesn't smudge anymore unless I'm getting to where I'm rubbing it or something. This just helps it stay on so great. And I do have a bonus for you because I think that most of you probably already know this. And it's one of those ones that I don't want to assume that everybody hasn't known about. But when you put on your lipstick and you have a tendency to get lipstick on your teeth partway through the day and you're like, oh no, I wish somebody had told me that I had lipstick on my teeth. One thing that you can do right after you put on your lipstick is stick your finger in your mouth and then pull it out with your lips wrapped around your finger. And what that's going to do is anything that's on inside your lips there that's gonna get on your teeth, it's going to come off on your finger. But watch what happens. Take a look at that. Even some came off and I already did that earlier for this video. So that is it for my Makeup All Home Moments for today. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I hope that it was something that you got just even one or two tips out of. If you guys like me doing this, would you let me know in the comment section below? Because I'm not trying to be an authority or anything on it. They're just things that I do often and I think about and I think, I wonder if everybody does that too or if, if it's just something that I do that is a little bit quirky or whatever, but I wanted to make sure that I pass it on to you guys. So please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did like these today. I hope that you're all having a great day and I hope that the sun is shining where you are because it finally has for us. So I love you all very much and I'll see you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.